Snake. Hey, welcome back everyone. Welcome back. Saturday morning. It's about 11 o'clock. Just rocking out. Got back from dropping the misses off, so using the 5435 on this one. Uh, using the two finger uh, twisted grip here. I'll show you this one here. It's a lovely one. It's a dandy. Oops. It's a dandy. I said 549. Okay, using a five, four, three, five, die set. And this throw is designed by one, is to do just what you've seen it do. Land, drop, and go, you know, just go down and die. You know what I mean? Hit the wall low and die. <clears throat> That's what you want. This one, so what we're giving you today, showing you this just ridiculous roll. See how it goes low? Oh, that's what we want right there, guys. That's what you want from this row. This row is rad. I'm just telling you. Remember, I showed you this one. When you're beating up on the casino, you got dialed in, and you're like, yeah, hey, I'll pull this one out, and you're just chopping them up. Hey. Remember, I showed you this one. It would always buckle up. Jeez, did you see that? Dude, that was gnarly. Oh my gosh. That hit ran forward. Ran forward. Like, boom. Ran forward and, like, smothered the thing. So bouncy came up and had that rotation, like, boom, like that. And it stopped. And it went forward again. And the one came off and the one, like, stayed. You know, that was crazy little roar. Crazy little roar. Yeah. Yes, it's, I guess it does an awesome throw right here. Very dependable. Very reliable. Okay, those both got up on me. I didn't like that. That one did the crip walk on me. Walked on out. Six. Oh. Six. Oh. One flipped on me there. Damn it. There was a good stick man here on video, but oh well, you guys know what's up. Yeah, we blew clear through uh, 1300. I mean, we just, you know, it looks like we're going to run right to 1500, gang. Then I guess push on to closer to 2000, I guess. Pass line, bounce in. See that bounce in right there? They just like they, you know, you got to make sure you get the right, you know, spin on them because they'll hit that pass line. And energy will drop into that right at the pass line. You know, drop them down instead of you know dr bouncing them up. Go down, then they'll come off and they'll be spinning. You know, like that. I'm telling you, and there's a reason I use these rolls because they're just mm, very reliable. That's what you want when you're in the casino game. You want reliability in your throw. <clears throat> you know, reliability leads to predictability, you know, I like that, shall this stay low, oh, oh, they're spinning, had a little bit, a little bit much juice, the one, uh, deuce right here, kind of rolled over, and had did a little rollover, tried to randomize one. That was an awesome roll, dude. Oh, ah. I mean that. Yeah, I wish I could throw them all like that, man. You know, because it hit, they landed, the juice, it just like energy just dropped out of them. They were like phew, spinning as they went in, hit the wall, and then just just spinning. You know, on the four one, no tumbling over. You know, no tumble over, no tumble over. You know, no flipping over each other. And that's what this gives you. You know, because if you ever watch the dice, they'll do a lot of flipping over. And, all that flipping and flopping stuff. And you really want to avoid the flippity flops. You know what I mean? My opinion. 
Okay, so we stay low. Five, four, nine. Like the one like stops. It stopped and chopped and went right there. And the other one just dropped in, did a little baby rainbow. And just like went, oop, no, I won't hit the wall. Just laying right beside you. Laying right in front of you. How are you today? He said, how are you today? Point. Point. So. I said, this is a very stable throw. I'll show you after I'm done here how I'm doing it. Probably see how I'm setting it up there anyway. Tilted action. Six, one, seven. Came at a good time. I say those got up on me. If you notice that, those got up on me a little bit. So, kind of, you know, made the dice do things I didn't want them to do on that. But we'll try to keep that down right there. Maybe I'm, you know, I think I didn't get the right loft on that one. There's my loft right there. Six. One. One didn't even hit the wall. One I flipped over to a six right here. It's okay though. It's coming at the right time. It, you know, weird six one. That means my dice are hitting. You know, the insides are opening up. Something up, you know, one's coming in. Doing like that. So, we're not going to sweat it though. Yeah, Since it's, it's rare, it's rare, so we're not going to sweat that right now. I don't think that's an issue. <coughs> yep. But the dice are moving right now. They are moving. They're on the run. Oops, hold on a second. Put down the pass line. Let's roll up sevens. Either way, we'll get there, gang. We're going to get there. Another day in the office. All right, boys. All right, Ronnie -o. That's Ronnie. All right, Ronnie. Guess he's up from a nap. So is Bo. See how they ran in right there? Six, six, eight. Now, you're not always going to keep them from, you know, turning over each other, you know, like flopping over each other. You're going to have them. You know, you're going to have that kind of thing. Oops. Dang, homie. All kinds of noise in the background hurts your brother. He said, of course. That's the way I'm doing it. Well, Bo, you know, hit my leg. Eight. Oh. That last point. Ah, boys. That's Bo, Bo. Ah, boy. Here's his tail hit. Ah, boys. That's our boys. I mean, boys. Oh, man. That's a wild kid right there. He is a wild boy right there. <laughs> you know you are, bub. He knows it. Because that was a Cadillac point. Buckshot. Cadillac. Buckshot. I say 18 to 20 on this one. Oh, that's right, yeah, because we want to not uh, go long on this. We've been going long in the past couple, so we're going to put a short one out so you can at least see this, and this rad roll, man. Three, one, oh. Ronnie, hold on. I'll give you a piece of ice in a minute, boys. Hold on. So, you know, the record breakers. Three. Those things just like, they just stuck right down there, didn't they? Like there was glue on them. Velcro or something. Hey, sh I don't mind about that. That's what it's all about for me. That's why I show you these throws, because I really think that this is a way... You know, um, one of the ways that are strong, I mean, I'm not saying there aren't other ways, but it's one of the ways, what, what I know, you know, for a fact, it's just ridiculous. Okay, I didn't like that. How many times can they kiss? Is that like a triple kiss? What the hell? They already were getting up on the, up on the thing. Jeez. See, this is a bouncy table. That's what I'm telling you, gang. I mean, it's, you know, it's a bouncy table. 
And that's exactly why I said we don't use the Premier Grip. Uh, in case if you're trying, if you're still there out there, you're trying to use a Premier Grip, the Dominator Premier Grip, Captain Frank Scobuddy Premier Grip on bouncy tables. That's not cool, man. I'm just trying to help you. Okay, that one stayed low. We got a two, two. One got a little up. Ho, 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 ho. That one stayed down, but you know, like I said, you know, it's gonna happen. At least just one gets up. You know, I mean, at least one gets up and not both. So you know, you also gotta look at it that way too. And that's a, another point right there, gang. That might be it right there on a twenty. Let's see here, what we're looking like. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, that was 20 right there on the, on the button. Alrighty. So we put our 20 in, gang. I know we should just keep rolling, huh? It feels weird to get off. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm just now getting warmed up. It's weird. I mean, I guess I'll throw a come out roll, but it is weird because I feel like I'm just getting warmed up. I guess that's why I just keep rolling. That's why I tell you guys, keep on rolling. You know, if you're rolling, keep on rolling. You know, if you're hitting hard, like if you're rolling, like you're just... You know, you just you can tell you're just hot either that day or just you're hot for the next. Because I've been on streaks where I'm like really hot, like on fire, fire for like days, and I'm like, damn, dude, this is crazy. So take advantage of that. You know, make note of what you're doing and keep repeating what you're doing. You know what I mean? And don't change what you're doing. You know what I mean? What you're doing's working. Don't change it. There's no reason to change it. You know what I mean? There's no reason to change it, gang. I mean, I just, you know, um, no, but if you're losing and lose things like that, you know, the losses are coming in. You know, all losses aren't bad. You know, losing is actually good. Hey, I know you heard me say that. That's kind of weird, but, you know, it's good because it, it, you know, it does a couple things for us, gang. It does a couple things. You know, it, you know, it's going to humble us. You know, we want to, you know, we want to remain humble. Something I remember Scobletti, Frank Scobletti saying in his books was, um, you know, something he said I totally agree with. He said that, um, you know, knowing how good you are and being humble about, you know, like really being honest about how good you are. You know what I mean? Really be honest about your actual dice control skill level. Actually be, you know what I'm saying? Actually be very honest. So, you know, sometimes we not might not be honest with ourselves. You know, we go to the casino, we get our asses handed to us because we're sitting there cocky and stuff, see? So... You know, we want to remain humble because if we don't remain humble, you know, if we get cocky, we end up getting sloppy. Check the rap sheet. Check it every time. Every time, you know, we get cocky, we get sloppy. Because cockiness isn't focused. is isn't focused energy. Okay? It's not. That's bullshit. It's wasting energy. Okay? It's pissing on the Cheerios. You know what I mean? It's crapping in the Fruit Loops. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not happy times here, so... That's what that's one of the things that's huge for it does for you, you know, humbles you. You know, helps you refocus. Helps you also to remember to reflect on your roles. Because you just don't want to reflect on your bad roles. And I don't mean sit there and just think and think and think, you know, like, oh man, I lost in a casino because it's okay. You know, you're not losing if you're following the game plan. What we suggest here is take three of your buy ins in, you know, say if you're buying it for two hundred. You know, it means you're going to take uh, 600 with you. You know, if you, you know, if they catch you the first time, all right, well, you still have two other buy-ins. You know, uh, I myself, you know, if I get caught twice, I'm pretty much out on that. I don't, I just don't want to get, you know, take a third, you know what I mean? But, you know, if you just happen to take a third or you're out on two, whatever, because you recognize, like, well, something's funny, you know, um, you know, whatever. Either way, you're you know you're getting out of there too. If you recognize something's funny, or you're waiting to three. Either way, you're you're you know you're you're taking a nail. It's not a bad thing, you know what I mean? Because you're not going to be doing that every time you come in. That money's going to come back, so there's no reason to get desperate or or get down and and, and you know just a little bit different. I know, but you know it's just I mean I think some people need to hear this because some people beat themselves up 
more than they need to. You know, I'm okay with a good little beat up here and there, you know, with a good dose of honesty, being harsh about it too, being really real with it. Uh, yeah, I think so. I'm okay with that. But, you know, you have to also be honest about your being honest, you know, and not be super hard on yourself like that, you know, because it's be ridiculous. And that's not what is really, you know, because it's like you don't, you're, 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 you're wanting to really be your worst uh, own critic, you know, with complete honesty, you know, about yourself, you know, why you're watching yourself. It's a little bit weird, but, you know, it's something that um, you can do that you need to do. So you're going to lose or, you know, or you take, you know, just a little L. Like, I don't, I don't really think it's called losing, but, you know, it's, you know, you take a little hit, you know, it's like little hits. You know what I mean? Because you're going to hit back, you know. When you hit back, you're going to hit a lot harder. You see what I mean? Your hits, when you take hits or take L's, you know, the re the way we shut them down is we get out of there with just, you know, two buy-ins, which that'd only be 400, you know, or the three buy-ins of 600, which whatever. You know, you're going to make that up and probably, uh, what, your next, your next two outings. So, you know, but it's going to humble us, you know, and help us to refocus our energy and look back and reflect not dwell but look back and reflect at you know how things went and i think that once you know when we're really hot and we're shooting well in the casino you know shooting well in the casino because it is a money game you know we, we train hard at the house and we go and we you know allow our train to come out that's that's what it is you know that's what we do so um when you're allowing that train to come out at the casino you know we're no different than than um you know, if you ever watch Street Outlaws, I really, I like Street Outlaws, man. I don't know about you guys, if you're feeling that, whatever, but I like Street Outlaws because, you know, it's real shit. Like, they got now where Chucky, if you guys follow it, Chuck, you know, badass, drives a de death trap. It, uh, you know, it's nice because, you know, they, they work on these cars, they work on these cars, and they come to a track, and they put it, you know, to work, and I was like, wow, we're no different. You know, we're no different, you know what I mean? Except, you know, we're not machines, but, you know, we put our practice and put our time in, and we go to the casino, and we put our time in here, you know, wherever our practice, you know, rig is, what have you, things like that. Then we go to the casino, and we let it come out. We put in our work, and we see what happens. Let it, you know, let it fly, you know, just like letting it rip, you know, you let it rip. It's like they're like, you know, letting it rip. So that's what we do, you know, we get in, we hit hard, really fast we just you know we let it rip well you know if it's not ripping right you know we need to you know either way if it's ripping good or not ripping right we need to you know after the casino always just like the car guys except we're not going to plug in ourselves to a computer or anything like that it's no usb shit you know we're going to just reflect back think about what we did you know and take that data just like they take data when they do their car racing and they race down the track and they're like, oh, okay, well, at least we were able to get data. So at least, that's what I'm saying. So, you know, you can't always, you know, you can't, you know, don't beat yourself up on a loss, you know, because you maybe lost the money. That's part of the game. We're going to do that. But overall, you're not a loser. See what I'm saying? You're not a loser because that's not what we do, you know. We're not into, you know, losing, you know, run to the ATM. That's what we're talking about. You take your couple buy-ins in. So if you're buying for 100 you take 300 in. So that way, that alone is going to minimize your uh, ability to lose big chunks because you're not going to run right to the ATM and all that kind of stuff, you know, what have you. So, yeah, but it's going to do that for us. Have us reflecting back and looking back, you know, in a good way. You know, just remember that and don't, you know, beat yourself up. Just tell you, not telling you what to do, but, you know, I'm trying to help you out, you know, because it is real. You know, it's okay to walk away for the day just because you're like, oh, okay, well, I got data. It's just not my day today right there. It, it's okay to be like that. Although I think most days, you know, you got your dice control down and you're uh, consistent, you know, you know, in your practice. I think that, you know, that will reflect in the casino. You just got to make sure your head's right. Just like, you know, you can have the best drag car, you know, have, you know, 4,000 horsepower, but, you know, do you know how to get all those horse, the horses down to the ground? Or do you know how to throw those dice and get them to land like you want them to land? You know, spin off those, uh, spin away from that seven. Do you know how to do that? 
You can have the biggest bankroll all you want, but can you control the dice, I guess is what you want to say on that one, you know. Because with the car, with the car, it's like having, having all the horsepower in the world, but they can't, they can't get it down. So you can have all the big bankroll you want, but you're not going to be able, you know, what's it going to mean if you can't control the dice? Because probability, probability, as I've been harping on, it's going to get rain over. It's going to run you over. I mean, you'll get run over by the bus. Probability will throw you off the bus and run you over. You know, don't let probability run the bus. You drive the bus. You learn dice control. I'm not telling you what to do, but if you learn dice control, you'll start driving the bus right over probability because you'll have the edge. So, you know, losing's okay. Losing's okay. You know, but when we win, don't get cocky because getting cocky will put us into that closer to a uh, losing bracket, you know, because we start getting sloppy. So, you know, there's a lot to learn, there's a lot to learn, a lot to say, I don't want to take long on this one, like I said, I wasn't trying to go long on this one, looks like we're right at, at 20, uh, 21 minutes, so, but we used a 5-4-3-5 on that one, guys, 5-4-3-5 dice sale on that one, I was talking away about that, uh, about the losing and winning, because I think that's really important, people get, you know, hung up in that kind of thing, and that's what it's all about, but, you know, when, you know, you might take an L, but it doesn't mean you're losing, man. It doesn't mean you're losing. That doesn't mean you're losing, man. You know, it just means that one little brief moment in time. It's okay. You took your data, so you didn't lose. And you got in there. You participated. You got in there. You got in the ring. You fought. You fought hard. You know what I mean? That's okay. You know, you got your battle wounds. Those battle wounds are going to, you know, turn into, you know, scars that are going to heal up like this knuckle that's popping up. See it? Looking real crazy. A funk it's looking. You know what I mean? It's okay. That was from, uh, you know, hitting, you know, being really heated. So, you know, it's being crazy. But you're going to have your battle scars, man. Don't even sweat it. Don't even sweat it. But the key is, is on those days, don't run to the ATM. That's when your control has to be there, gang. Your control has to be there, okay? You know, you walk away. You know what I mean? You walk away. You don't even, you know, I mean, you could stay in there, I guess, and, well, no, because you want to, you know, a nice little run in right there. Six. Oh, of course, that was right before the pass line. Bounce in. I want to show you this roll and uh, show you this and get on out of here, gang. I'm not going to take any more of your time up. It's 21 right there. So, this one, you know, the other video we showed the uh, rever or the uh, premier grip, the, uh, the twisted premier grip. You know, see, that's a premier grip. Like that, see? And you go boom like that, you throw it, or you go pendulum, you throw it, whatever. That throw's been crushed out by these bouncy tables. That's why the dice now fly all over. Unless you have the, uh, uh, like a hard table. I mean, you can still get away with it, but it's just not stable. You know what I mean? It starts it starts breaking down, and we don't we don't want the viscosity breakdown, you know, the oil when, you, when you're really putting it to the metal. So what we're using is... Not this one here. See, that's what we did in the last video. Very similar to that one. Let's see, we're going to go like this. Take that finger off, that third finger off. And we're going to do like this. See? There's one right there. We did. We're like this. We just moved it down to here. Yeah, it's a rad throw, Daddy. It is hard core. Wham. Make sure to get the rainbow. And make sure, you know... You're releasing, they're coming on your hand. You know, release them, get that spin, get that spin. That way, when they're flying, they'll land and they'll stay on those numbers and they'll spin. You know? So, whatever numbers it lands on, shouldn't do a lot of tumbling over and things like that. We use the 5 4 3 5 gang, 5 4 3 5. Uh, in this row, you know, make sure it's from the middle, like here, where we got thrown right here, to out to that way, out there. Like that, you know, not to the corner, corner, but, you know, somewhere in that range right there. We really don't want to throw it straight out, you know, releasing like straight out from your body or behind your body, you know, meaning the dice would come out over here close to this bowl, like that. So we don't want anything to do with that, gang. Nothing to do with that. Hey, it's a nice throw, though. Nice throw, gang. Appreciate your time. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, I'm going to get on out of here, man, because I uh, hate to just dip out like that, but. You know, uh, we've been getting long in the tooth. 
So remember when those wins and losses come. Don't sweat it. Just remember it's part of the game. Go back to the drawing board. Look at your data. Look at your data. Look what you got. You know, maybe you have been practicing on the hard table and the casino is a soft table or a bouncy table. So you need to get as close, you know, you would check your data and go, oh, okay, well, that's what it was. So when you're, I guess what I'm saying is, is when you're there at the casino, take in as much as you can. Take in as much as you can the data, you know, like, you know, take as much as you can, you know, about, uh, like break it down what you really need. Like make sure, you know, you got your table data down, you know, make sure you got, uh, you know, your dice, you know, you know, where you're grabbing the dice, taking the slow time, you know, fidgeting with the dice. Because you might be new, and so you might be a little bit nervous, so you might be a little bit fidgety instead. Just, you know, you're grabbing them, and you're just used to, you know, whatever it might be letting it go. See, are you taking, you know, a long time setting the dice up, things like that. So make sure that, you know, you take in your data, you know, and can reflect back, you know, things like that. And look, see what you might have done. You know, did you have any chalk in your pocket? Because your hands might have been, you know, uh, sweaty. Or not non-grip, have no grip, rather. Or your hands might have been sweaty and you didn't have your bag with your uh, baking soda and your, uh, and your, uh, shoot, damn it. Oh, man, it's baking soda. What's the other one? Is it baby powder? I want to say so. Baking soda and baby powder. Because baby powder is very slippery. Baking baking soda gives it a little grit. So it gives you just a little bit of, you know what I mean, it, takes that moisture out of your hand. You know, there's, there's things that you need to think about. You know what I mean? There's things you need to think about. You know, things like that. So, hey, C, K, Danger Song. Appreciate your time, guys. That throw is rad, though, man. Put down a little 21 Saturday morning. Remember, you have to, you know, if you're a new subscriber, you have to hit the notification bell if you want to get our stuff because, they're, you know, a lot of our viewers aren't getting our videos. You know, we're fighting Google. Appreciate this flag, guys. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Thumbs up to all of our veterans out there. Not my love for you. Not my love if you got love for this right here. Second Amendment. Our flag. We're not fucking around, man. We're out here, believe me. We're out here. We're not playing. Get your guns up, gang. Get your guns up. Get your ammo up. Get your preps going a little bit. It's crazy shit out here. People are crazy, man. I'm just telling you. All kinds of weird shit's going on. We also have another channel, Warrior Reports. Warrior Reports, you know, where we're just getting started. So we only got a couple subscribers, but, you know, uh, it's going to be coming in there hard. And we're going to be representing the flag big time. You know, big shout out to Brandon Tatum and uh, Candace Owen. And uh, my sisters out there, uh, Silk and, uh, to Silk and I can't remember. Uh, shoot. Uh, shit. I feel bad. Diamond and Silk, Diamond and Silk. Big shout out to them because they're in the war. Because see, those of us who are uh, Native American, we're, we're, we're black. Well, I have Native American in me, you know. Uh, and, you know, black. Uh, we uh, we have a little civil war going on with our own people. You know, where people don't believe in the Martin Luther King thing. And there's only, it seems like we're sprinkled around here that, you know, know that Trump isn't against black people and things like that. So, you know, we're around here. I'm just telling you that a war that's going on, gang. So... You'll be hearing more about on Warrior Report. So big shout out to those people. Um, looks like they, uh, like I said at the beginning of this, last little note, uh, big note about Trumpy. For the Trump fans out there, or Trump supporters, patriots, you know Trump's all about it, or not asleep. Looks like the House uh, panel cleared Trump campaign and the Russia probe. It's like they cleared him, so, you know, what the fuck they're talking about, excuse my mouth, whatever. Hey, we ended up going along, whatever. Hey, see you next time, guys. C, K, Danger Song. You heard me right. You heard me right. And North Korea and South Korea finally got together, shook hands. They're talking about calling the war off. Hey, that's just some quick news for you guys. See you next time. Trump was cleared. Russian collusion. Psh. House panel clears Trump campaign and Russian probe. You heard it here, gang. See you next time. Have a nice day. Saturday, gang. Try that rollout. It's hard as heck, man. I'm telling you.
Sorry about the length. We'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for viewing. C.K. Dangerous Underground Crabs.